Hello all, welcome back. In continuation of the uh, lecture of the series, we will uh, today going to see how a QMJ1 sent a message to QMJ2. And we will configure everything from basic, we will create everything Q manager, Q sender channel, receiver channel, and you will see how it is message being sent from QM1 to QM2. I will uh, work uh, as from this diagram only. You don't need to worry about that. Let me create a first first application A sending message to application B. For that, we, application sending message to the Q major one and Q major two. Let me first create a Q major one and Q major two. QM one and QM two. So let me create that. For for that, you need to just go to here and create Q Q manager. I have to go to QM one. And just click on next 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 and here you need to port number so that they can communicate each other i am keeping here port number let's take example 333 okay click on next and finish you can see the kilometer will be created it will take few seconds you may qm1 has been created and, and, and the requirement is create a QM2. Let's create a QM2. QM2. Click on next, next, next. And you have to here give the listener port number so that they, they can communicate with each other. I am keeping here 4444. Click on finish. It will take few seconds, but we'll get QM2 has been created. The QM1 I have keeping the listener footage uh, 333 and QM4 is 444. They will communicate with each other with the listener port. Now I, I have to create the unit queue and transmission queue and the sender channel receiver channel local queue. First, remote queue have some information about the that local queue. The first remote queue already told you in the last lecture. If you go to and see that that remote queue have some information about the local queue of the q major 2 so let me first create the qm2 a local queue 2 in qm2 so let's click or click or right click on local queue qm2 dot local let's click on next and finish it's created next is you need to create the remote queue remote queue have information of transmission queue and the that's local queue that local queue have created let's me create the transmission queue for creation of transmission queue we need to just click or uh, just we need to create a transmission in qm1 uh, just clear right click on that Transmission queue also local queue. So just you need to just create a local queue and q q m one dot trans. Just click next. From you know UJ UJ in transmission you have to select and click on finish. Transmission queue has been created. Let's create the uh, remote queue now. The remote queue will be created in the queue manager one. So let me create the QM1. That's the remote queue. QM1 dot REM remote queue. Click on next. Here you have to put the some information of the remote queue name. So remote queue name that is is the that queue name that we already given the name QM2 dot local. Let me put here the name QM2 dot local. Now we have to put the remote queue major name. Let me put the remote queue name as QM2 because the QM2 local is present in the QM2. And let's select the transmission queue that I just created few seconds back. And let's click on finish. Now we have remote queue name also created. You can see here. Now, now we have to left with the sender channel and the receiver channel. Sender channel will be in the QM1. And receiver channel will be in QM2. Let me create the sender channel here. 
if you go to new and create a sender channel and just to give a name qm1.2.2 qm2 because we are sending we are sending message from qm1 to qm2 just keeping that name for our eg next click on next and here you need to give the connection name and the port number to whom you, you want to communicate so we want to communicate with the qm2 and qm2 has a port number 4444 then we have to put the and we are using the local system so we are using local host and giving the port number 44444 4, 4, 4. and here you need to choose the transmission queue because i already told you uh, this channel having the information of transmission queue then you have to choose the transmission queue just choose the transmission queue from here and just click on finish your sender channel has been created now you have to create the receiver channel in qm2 just create a receiver channel click on right and the receiver channel give the same name what you have given in the qm1 click on next and you just click on finish your receiver channel has been started created also let's start the sender channel for starting the sender channel just click, right click on that and just click on start it will, it will take it will a few seconds and it will you can see it is running now whole configuration has been made i have created a remote queue transmission queue sender channel receiver channel and that's the local queue and let's me let me send if if i send a, if I, if if i send a message in remote queue the message will should be go, should we go to local queue so let's see how it is working or not let me send some information in the remote queue let me put text message i am putting i h how are you hope to all doing well i have three put in three message as this remote queue is pointing to transmission queue and the remote queue of this queue and it it goes through the sender channel our sender channel is working message should be in that remote queue just you can see there is a three message here if you browse that message you can see let's go up here hi guys how are you and how how you all are working you all are working well you can see here the similar this is a simple like simple system if, if there is a remote queue a, a, and transmission queue sender channel receiver channel and that's going to the local queue you one many many times you see, will see one more configuration here rather than applicants rather than application sending a message to remote queue it will send a, a to a alias queue and alias queue points to a remote queue there, there will be a case you can also see before the remote queue there will be a alias queue let me show you that also let me create a alias queue qm one dot a l i s l h okay click on next and just you have to okay sorry i'm just i need to create a large queue to so, q a one dot large if here you need to give the base object name and i want to that see that your application a one c sending message to our alias queue because we don't want to expose this our remote queue to, a, to application we want to expose our alias queue to the application so and we, uh, our uh, application is pointing to alias queue and alias queue will point to the remote queue uh, let me put the base object as remote queue name remote queue name is qm1 dot rem Let's click on finish now we as soon as we send a message to the large queue it will go to remote queue and, and after that it will go to transmission queue as through sender channel receiver channel and that the other queue is local queue the remote queue let me put the message to the large queue before that i need to let me purge that message 
uh, all messages should be cleared out now okay. put message to that you put message okay. here now i'm putting i am good how are you hello i have written three message and all all should go all go on to remote queue then transmission queue and then to that it will go to our that queue if you see browse this message you can see the dot all message i am good how are you met and hello that's the simple configuration of the this how we can send a message from one queue manager to other queue manager you can simply configure it in this way we will learn more new thing in next lecture till now for five and if you like the video just this like too thank you bye all